Imagine you woke up in the year 21-22. You are an architect and you want to design a building. Instead of starting to sketch out ideas, you are giving voice instructions to your AR glasses. Within a couple of seconds, you have generated a fully functional design in front of your eyes. Fast forward 100 more years, this is year 22-22 and there is no more architects. But there is an AI that just learns people's behavior and preferences and gives out the best functional design possible, which they cannot deny because it's too good. Sounds crazy, right? I know that's a bit of a stretch. I don't think that's gonna happen. Or will it? This is what this text to prompt AIs are kinda doing right now. This is mid journey. I just typed parametric building and the key specifications like god rays, golden hour, also some codes like weightages, aspect ratio, etc. And this is what I got. I'm scaling this particular image. Tweaking it a bit in Photoshop and this is the result. Artificial intelligence has been fascinating people for quite a while now. It's playing a big role in our day-to-day -day life now. For example, if YouTube suggested this video to you, that means YouTube's algorithm thought you would find this topic interesting. And if you'd like to see these kind of discussions more on this channel, please leave a like to let the algorithm know that you want more stuff like this. So in this video, we'll be discussing some of the current popular AI prompts to image tools like DALL-E, Midjourney, and Crayon. Let's have some fun with it, it's not a serious video. What's going on fellas, I'm Geo and this is Geo Creations. Let's jump right into the video. In recent times, a lot of text to image AI is popping up like DALL-E 2, Midjourney, Crayon, etc. DALL-E by OpenAI is kind of the pioneer of this and only a few people have access to it right now but they are actively letting in more people. Luckily, I got an invite. This is DALL-E 2's subreddit. Let's see what they are creating. This is DALL-E 2's erase feature where you can erase a part of an image and replace it with another. Here's a picture of Napoleon crossing the Alps in a Harley Davidson. Oh, a cat bunny. <laughs> Man with big ears, strong troopers on a holiday trip. <laughs> okay, here's a specific one. Photo of a small mouse driving a remote controlled convertible car. Hmm. And whoa, <laughs> Mona Lisa painting a picture of Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, someone has made a comparison for different AIs. Not gonna lie, these are mind blowing. When it comes to architecture, I can see a ton of architects creating concept art with this. These are mostly done using Midjourney. I tried Crayon once, it's pretty impressive, but you can't upscale it yet. So I did it in Photoshop, also adding some features and details. It's good, but uh, it's not that impressive. Let's create something with doll E. Let's try creating something using the same prompt. No, not the same. I'm gonna switch it a bit because it's a more advanced AI. It actually seems like it exists in real life. But Midjourney allows you to create really good art. These are some of the recent stuff I created. The crazy thing is you can learn some codes to create more specific and impressive results. Things which I typed here followed by double colon and double hyphen are specific codes like aspect ratio, stylize and these columns are for weightages. This is where you can find those codes and what it does. Uh, this one is sorted by Will Vulcan. Really a great job. He has sorted all different codes and what it does with examples. I'll share a link in the description if you want to check it out. And this is Midjourney's gallery. You can see the works of some of the top creators here. Whoa, look how capable this is. This is 
just amazing. So what it does to architecture is it can generate a lot of conceptual drawings to work with. It not only saves time but also adds a big boost to your creativity. Now I know what you're thinking. Does it mean AI could take our jobs? The answer is more complicated. Here's what I think. We have a lot of tools now to automate a lot of stuff in all fields. In architecture, we already have tools to even automate plans. But still, architects are here to stay, at least for the foreseeable future. Look, planes can operate on their own, but still we have pilots. Let's take graphic designers for example. Tools like DAL-E can accelerate their work, but cannot replace them. It can't understand human psychology like the way humans do. Let's take Photoshop. Earlier you had to draw things with your hands. Now you have far more advanced tools to manipulate and change things using the tools available. Does it mean Photoshop replaced artists? Definitely no. It just made job of the artists a lot easier. Things change and evolve all the time. We just have to adapt to it. So in conclusion, I think these are just tools to help us in different ways to bring out faster and better results for us. What do you think? I'm really curious to know your thought process. Leave your opinions in the comments below. These kind of videos are something I like to do more. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos essay by hitting that like button. And don't forget to join the community by subscribing to this channel as well. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.